Aloha travelers! Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to show you some of the most incredible hiking trails that I have visited during my trip to Hawaii to let you know what nature has to show us. Are you ready to be part of the journey? Let's get started! The Makapu'u Lighthouse Trail is one of the most beautiful trails on Oahu. It offers an excellent view of the Kaiwi coastline, allowing us to see the islands of Lanai and Molokai from a distance. Unlike the other trails, the Makapu'u Lighthouse Trail has a two-mile round trip fully paved, being able to find several rest points in the area. As you might have imagined from its name, there is a lighthouse at the end of the road. I remember it was quite gratifying to see with my wife after we faced a few minutes of walking. It felt like the kind of reward we were looking for. However, this lighthouse cannot be visited since it is outside the limits of the trail. So I recommend you not to do it unless you want to hurt yourself. Because behind this seemingly harmless path, there is danger lurking. The coast. Still, Makapua Lighthouse Trail is one of the best trails we have the opportunity to see. It's an easy trail to hike. It's short and the views are incredible. So we would definitely visit it again. Diamond Head is one of the most iconic volcanic formation in all of Hawaii. This 1.6 round trip length trail includes two staircases with a total of 175 steps, plus some underground tunnels making your visit feel more like an adventure. What surprised us the most about this place was the number of visitors we came across during our trip. The Diamond Head Crater Trail is one of the busiest trails in Hawaii, being very popular with tourists. If you want to enjoy this tour without having to navigate through a sea of people, it might be a good idea to visit it during the early hours of the day or before it closes at 7 p.m. This trail offers one of the most incredible views I have ever had a chance to witness. From the beauty of the ocean at the Waikiki Beach to the grandeur of Honolulu, we have fond memories of this trip. Climbing to its summit was fun but somewhat exhausting experience due to the steepness of the road and the narrowness of some sections. So it is recommended to wear comfortable shoes and drink large amount of water when visiting. The first section of the Lanikai Pinbox trailhead can be the most challenging part of your climb. Even if it is a trail that at first glance seems easy to go, it has some parts steeper than the others, making you have to tread carefully if you don't want to end rolling down the hill. One of my favorite things about this place is its bunkers or pillboxes. These structures offer us an excellent resting point as well as allowing us to enjoy the incredible views of Keidua while we regained our strength. The Lanikai Pillbox Hike is about an hour hike that can be done by adventurers of all ages. It is quite normal to find locals visiting this place with their children and pets. If we had to say which our worst enemy on this trail was, it would definitely be the sun. Having a good sun protection could make a difference in your experience. The best thing about our visit is that we were able to reconnect with nature and enjoy the fresh air like we hadn't done in years. With its panoramic view of the three beaches and an incredible fun trail ready to be hiked, you need to visit Lanikai Pilgrims Trailhead at least once in your life. If you are looking for a good challenge for your physical resistance, the Coco Crater Trail is a great one for all adventurers who are willing to face it. And there's a good reason for it. It takes more than 1,000 steps to reach its top. Despite this premise, walking to Coco Crater Trail is more fun than you can imagine. You don't have to be an athlete to go through this journey. You will only need comfortable shoes and a desire to go on an adventure and enjoy the beauty of Oahu. If there is one thing that amazed us about this trail, it was its railroad. 
The Coco Crater Trail is composed of a long abandoned railroad that used to be used to transport cargo and supplies, being today used as a stairway to the top of the mountain. Unlike other hikes, it is easy to find a trail that leads up to the mountain. But be prepared, just because it's easy to find doesn't mean it's easy to climb. Every 100 steps we managed to take motivated us to take the next 100 steps as the view only gets better as we progress. If there was a defining moment during our trip, it was reaching step 900. Although we were not manually counting each of them, when we saw that we were so close to reaching the top, it was impossible not to feel motivated to climb the last section. And there it was, right in front of our eyes. Hanauma Bay, waiting for us next to the Port Lock Peninsula. A view that made all our effort worthwhile. Now there was only the way back, and the truth is that jumping from the top looked more tempting than going back through another 1,000 steps. And what about you, traveler? Which trail do you find the most attractive? Where would you like our next trip to take us? We will be reading your comments. See you in the next video. Mahalo!